I am going to show you the best and the most unpredictable passing tricks right now in FC24. But before we talk about that, we have to focus on the fundamentals of passing, guys. Now, what are the fundamentals of passing? Obviously, you always want to face the direction where you are passing, right? That is the fundamental rule. We will talk about this further on as well. So that is why it's very important. We need to find angles for passing. What do I mean by finding an angle? Finding an angle means actually knowing where your player is on the pitch as well as also facing him, okay? So many people think that they know this, but still they are not focusing on this. A simple ball roll can help you find that angle. You can make impossible passes which wouldn't be possible before. Now that we know we have to pass the ball in triangles and always pass the ball in the direction we are facing, we can move on to the next trick. The first pass I'm going to talk about today is an R1X slash RBA pass. Okay, the R1X RBA is really good at this moment in time. Because again, this is a hard pass. You see, this is a driven pass. How quickly it travels. This is a normal pass. It goes slow, it's soft, even if I put full power. Now, this is a driven pass. We know that EA has added play styles this year. Now, if someone has a pinged pass plus or even a silver pinged pass, this pass goes quicker and it doesn't affect the trapping ability of the attacker. That means the attacker will take a perfect touch on the ball when you do a driven pass, all right? and it will not actually impact the ball control of the attacker. Usually, if you make driven passes with players who don't have pink pass, then the control of your players can be bad, especially in close quarters. But now, almost every player, guys, has good ball control, so you can negate that. But you can never go wrong with having a pink pass plus player. Now, if you have someone with pink pass, I would almost always go with an R and X pass, especially in the opponent's attacking third. Unless you're very close to your player who you want to pass the ball towards, I would always go with this pass. Because again, it doesn't affect the trapping ability of our player. We can quickly transition into a skill move after making this pass, okay? You will see this a lot in pro games. R and X, quickly followed up by a step over on another skill move. Just because it doesn't affect the trapping ability of attacker, we can quickly transition from a pass to a skill move. Next up on the list, we have a pass that isn't really talked about much. And it is a precision lob pass. Now, this is something that EA added this year and people don't actually use it. I also didn't use it a lot, but lately I have discovered how useful it is, especially when you are switching sides, which I will talk to you about. I purposely sent that ball in the crowd. Now, with precision lob pass, you can actually have more precise aiming as the name suggests right and it is really good for the deep switches like i said we will talk about it later in the video so stay tuned the precision law pass is actually broken when going for the deep switches now if you want to know how to use it in game stay tuned because we are going to talk about that as well you need to press r1 square on your playstation controller and rb x on your xbox controller then you want to manually pass it okay see manually aim it actually just aim it manually because it doesn't have any assistance it is manual pass you have to focus on the power as well as the direction this pass is much better than a ground precision pass i don't use a ground precision pass i don't use ground precision passes maybe once in a hundred games but usually i don't use them if you use them and if you find them useful let me know down in the comments through passes ground through passes guys which are performed simply by pressing triangle or why? Many people think they know how to do a ground through pass. But what if I tell you, you can make it almost impossible for the opponent to defend it even if he is marking the run. But before I show you how to actually use it in game, let's focus on our last passing trick that we are going to talk about today. That is an L1 triangle or LBY lob through pass. We know long ball pass plus is actually very overpowered in this game, right? And this pass is absolutely deadly. It is game changing. It is something that will unlock the most tight defenses. If you cannot find space, if someone is abusing AI defense, there is no space whatsoever. In that situation, you are going to use an LBY, L1 triangle, long ball pass with someone who has the long ball pass, silver or a gold play style. Here comes the important part. Without this, none of these techniques will work. Do you wonder why is it that when you go into a game, and you cannot replicate what you see in YouTube videos, rather those videos be mine or someone else's. The reason is that you do not focus on this important fundamental that is game awareness. I always talk about it in my videos because everything comes from game awareness. Knowing the buttons, knowing the mechanics is one thing. The most important thing is knowing when to use them, how to use them, and actually how to put your opponent into a situation 
so you can create an opportunity to use those mechanics with sane just see we tell davis to run okay now that davis is running we give the ball to goretzka we perform a ball roll why do we do that we'll get to that with bellingham we go back to saliba with saliba we go to ben white tell ronaldo to run use an lby l1 triangle and then end up scoring this goal we created this goal just by using passing here is the important thing okay triggering runs it is a part of passing as well just to create space game awareness see we have the game awareness now we want to pass the ball to jude bellingham what was the first rule of passing that i told you it was to pass the ball in the direction you are facing also i told you that we need an angle to pass the ball how can i find an angle i can either do a left stick dribble towards bellingham or i can do a ball roll what is more quicker left stick dribbling or the ball roll in this situation to pass obviously the ball roll followed up immediately by a pass and that is what we are going to do with koretska we are going to pass the ball towards bellingham but first we will do a ball roll it gives us the angle now that we have an angle we have surprised the opponent we do a player lock just to fake him why do we go back to saliba because i told you we want to pass the ball in triangles when we pass the ball in triangles we open up space now this isn't a perfect triangle it doesn't need to be a perfect 180 as long as it is some sort of triangle it is a win for us now we have passed the ball to ben white we know his play style this game is a lot about focusing on the play styles this is why we use ben white because he has long ball pass plus now cristiano is running all right see the pass goes perfectly between two players also his full back gets glitched because of that play style you will see another example of the defenders getting glitched over here see we tell sane to run again here is a triangle the triangle isn't supposed to be used in ground passing you can use the triangle when you are playing in the air when you are using lob passes that is when also you can use the triangular passing patterns and we are going to play the perfect triangle this is why i tell you guys to have a center back who has long ball pass either silver long ball pass or a long ball pass plus with renard here see what we are going to do we are going to do a deep through pass into sane she just has the silver long ball pass plus still see how the pass goes it goes through and now we are through on goal see here what are we doing now we are going to focus on ground through passes people think they know how to use ground passes but they don't use it very successfully like i see in coaching sessions all right see we tell ham to run we tell messi to run and now when ham is on the last man we're going to go with the through pass but we also need the incisive pass plus or the normal incisive pass so we can cut the defense in half again we are going to play between three players that is the key and you are going to also create manual runs because the timing of the pass is really important if you don't time your passes they will not be as successful timing is the key as well see we timed it well now she's through on goal all right we should have scored it we didn't but it is all about the timing of the pass just look at this one okay this is a perfect example he is marking but because of the timing and the way we initiate the run goretzka is on the ball golden sisef pass it just goes through it just goes through and we end up scoring the goal the passing and the timing if we do the pass too late or too early then it will not go through it needs to be perfectly timed and we need this play style this is why i say playing to the play styles and playing to the fundamentals is so important in this game just knowing these three to four things we were able to successfully create this goal now the next pass i'm going to show you is even more game changing guys just see but first focus on the timing of this pass look all about the timing all about the play styles we score now guys this pass that i am about to show you the precision law pass you need someone with long ball pass plus in order to be able to make these defense splitting passes initiating manual runs is very important our full back is usually on balance to join the attack and we've also told him to run now he is running so what do we do we are going to do a square chip pass into ben white okay and then we are going to use an r1 square fully powered precision lob pass which is new this year and see what happens the ball just travels like that zoom and it leaves the defense open we are creating an overload on the wing and then we are exploiting that overload again you will see another example of this but you need long ball pass plus if we didn't have davis over there we wouldn't be able to play that time pass and again we go with it right now you need to keep a couple of things in mind before performing this pass successfully it all comes down to the timing of the pass you cannot look over here but if you can just see there is a red shirt over here 
all right so by this time on the other side of the pitch see where are we aiming we are aiming it over here you can see the aim going to aim it over there and our player is on the last man timing aim and power 3.5 to 4 bars of power correct timing first time would be usually the best thing to do if you can do it first time okay then we're going to do a first time precision lob pass see just goes through and then you need someone on the overlap like we have davis we can create two versus one against the fullback so then you can have the space to head the ball down sometimes if it is not marked well you can do it directly as well now look at this it's not always necessary that you need to create a triangle run and then it's not necessary that you always have to create a run just see look at the delivery it is landing over there away from the fullback we just look our players on the last man we go for it we hope that it will work and it is going to work because of the long ball pass plus so you probably learned something new today and if you already knew it well then practice it again because it is good it will help you win more matches next up something we talked about briefly having that angle guys the passing angle changes the game see the ball roll pass i didn't use a driven pass over there still it went why did it go because we were using angles and correct timing the timing doesn't only apply to your normal through passes it applies to ground passes as well as having an angle just see that okay and you will create these goals you will score these goals by having enough tempo otherwise if you don't have any tempo whatsoever you will not be able to score these chances here we have to see all our players are marked how can we open it up without doing much by waiting so we pass the ball to Goretzka with Goretzka we use an X pass you might say you should have used an R1 X pass and I should have used it but this is something I learned from watching it back I should have used an R1 X but I used an X it worked see again dribble and now here my opponent expects me to go over there he is also marking Messi I need an angle the best way to quickly get an angle is a ball roll pass and this is exactly what we are going to do ball roll pass boom I want to pass the ball to Sane pause and tell me what should I do I need to do a long ball pass Goretzka has the silver long ball pass how do I get an angle I do a ball roll first and then I go with a three bars of power pass now I'm through and I end up scoring the goal if I didn't focus on the timing or the angles of this pass simply wouldn't work today you have learned five passing tricks and the best way to utilize them in game now check this video out here to improve your dribbling once and for all